we see VAR used in the Premier League, and I'll, I'm going to give my opinion on VAR in a minute because I don't wholeheartedly like it for certain things. But is there an argument to use it or to explore use it in the Championship? Because we hear this phrase all the time with, with technology, um, clear and obvious. That was as clear and obvious of an error from the referee as you will ever see. Just uh, aside from Kipper might have gone in a bit rash, but it's not a penalty because the guy slipped over. It's not a penalty in a million years, you know. So the question is: is given what's on offer, you know, given the the financial stakes of the championship and getting to the mm. Premier League, is it time that it's used in the second tier? Uh, I am. Um mixed on the, what my opinion is on this and I can't quite decide however that however the, I think the key point you make there Johnny is what's at stake um, the finances but the same in the Premier League you know you talk about European qualification and the finances there it's too much riding on on these things Why right, the championship playoff final used to be built the 100 million game didn't it the most important game in football that's what promotions were um, there's a hell of a lot riding on these these things these decisions um so i think that's a really really strong argument for it um my point and opinion with var um i it's it's a double edged sword isn't it it's like that it's weighing up the pros and cons as i mean we're talking about it from a football reporter's point of view um i suppose you've got a a leg in either camp johnny really being i mean being a and I'll be a fan as well as as covering them. Um, it's enjoyable covering football in the championship without VAR because um, there's no doubt, and I've covered games in the Premier League as well as regularly watching games in the Premier League. VAR partly, or maybe more than partly, has killed some of the spontaneity in football, the emotion when you celebrate a goal. That's yeah. that's sad. That That is sad because it's not the same. Um, yeah, it's, it's not the same and you don't know, you know, you see people, are, even when I'm watching on the telly, you know, every time a goal goes in um, of my team, my, my first thought on the telly is yeah. uh, VAR. Yeah. That. Even if like to my naked eye, I was like, there's no way that's, no way that's going to be offside or chalked off. I'm like, there might be something like five, 10 seconds earlier that the technology is going to have spotted that, you know, before VAR would never have been, never have been a thing. We want the right decisions. There's so much riding on it. However, fans in the championship will have a lesser match day experience because it takes away that, you know, that moment, doesn't it? And I don't know what what the average football fan would think about that. Would they want everything correct, or would they want that little wait when a goal goes in to think, oh, I don't know whether to celebrate or not? Don't get me wrong. Some football fans and yeah, football fans in the Premier League still enjoy scenes after a goal, don't they? You still see wild celebrations. It's not that VAR's you know made celebrating redundant however it's just taken away that spontaneity moment hasn't it i think some sort of technology i think needs to be looked at you're quite right in the fact of the black and white decisions you know when var came in in the premier league i always said it won't work like you said it won't work for subjective decisions it's not cricket it's not rugby it's not black or white and not everything is is black or, or white you know and very plain Goal line technology where the ball's out of play and, you know, offside should work. But the offside rule has been so convoluted by, you know, people with an MVQ in clipboard management in an office. Dits, 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 that, ditto handball. That's been messed up, yeah, doesn't it? as well, uh, yeah. as well. But in terms of, so the reason I was against it is, I hope I don't sound hypocritical here, but the reason I was, I've said in the past, said on social media, it won't work is because, Someone who might think a tackle is a tackle, a foul is a foul, another referee might not think that. So that's not a clear and obvious error. But in terms of Friday's incident, where it is so clear, if that referee has a little monitor on the side of the pitch and goes over and looks at it and goes, it's actually, it's not, it's no nowhere near a penalty. The angle I'm looking at it at is that doesn't show the actual incident in its full, you know, full capacity. He would change that. So whether the powers that be need to look at that and think, do we need to just put a monitor on the side of the pitch if there's something that's a little bit the referee's not, you know, not overly convinced about? Like you said, there you give the decision straight away. But if it had waited two or three seconds and look, 
all these players are appealing for a penalty or a corner kick, a, a, a corner kick or a, or a goal kick. You know, that common sense should be planted in the referee's head to think maybe it's not a penalty. Maybe I need to go and have a look at it. 